Hey guys! So today is January 6th and it's officially the first day that I am back on AIP 100%. So sorry that the video stopped for a little bit but I just got wrapped up in finals week with school and also the holiday season and was going to a lot of holiday parties. So I decided to put a halt to the diet until after January 1st so I'm excited to just come back full force. Um, and to start doing this AIP diet again. So I can tell a difference in my vision. Um, it was slowly getting better during those first five weeks. And then I feel like for the first couple weeks that I slacked off of AIP, it maintained. But now these last couple days, I've been waking up feeling like my vision is extra blurry. And lately I've been seeing some questions in the group. Um, people are asking, you know, can you have a flare up without any redness? And the answer is definitely yes. Um, I have inflammation in my left eye and you cannot tell just looking at me and you can't see any redness. And I am thankful that I don't have any pain either, which is nice. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm eating for lunch. Um, I'm just, I just kind of threw together some things that I had in my fridge that were about to go bad, so I needed to get rid of it. Um, the base is just romaine lettuce. And then I have a couple extra shrimp left over. I really like to eat that with cocktail sauce, but not today. Um, and then uh, some green onions and some mushrooms and bacon. So I'm excited to eat this. And I'm even more excited about this salad dressing. So the first go around with AIP, I felt like I didn't really eat a lot of salads because I didn't really like eating it with oil and vinegar. So my best friend, she got me this for Christmas and I am so excited to give it a try. Um, it's Casey Naturals Honey Butternut Dressing. Um, I believe she got it off of uh, shopaip.com, and I know it's also available on Amazon as well. Um, but Casey Natural also has a ketchup that she got me and a no tomato, tomato sauce. So I'm excited to try these out. Um, I have tried this clearly already. It's very, very good. And I'm going to try the no tomato pasta sauce very soon too. So these are something that I'm excited about. And then also I always put garlic powder on my salads. It just kind of helps them taste a little better. So excited to eat this. Um, and I'm just excited to start AIP again. I mean, it's really no fun eating this way, but I can really tell a difference in my vision and just my overall health. I just feel better every day. My mental clarity is better too. So I just am excited to get back on track and start the new year and really properly do AIP this time around. You know, the first time I felt like I was really learning a lot and I still wanted to share it with you guys, but I didn't feel as equipped as I am now. Um, you know, doing it for five and a half weeks straight and only messing up a couple times, I was really proud of myself. Um, and I just feel like I'm better equipped this time around. You know, I've learned about different sauces. I've learned about different recipes, different websites that I can use. And I just really want to help anybody who is wanting to start AIP be successful. So I'm going to eat this salad. And I have some footage that I took the week before Thanksgiving. Uh, I made my special cheeseburger soup that I really, really love. And I just kind of take you through the steps. And I also show you what I was eating on Thanksgiving day, which was all AIP. Um, my family came together and they cooked a turkey and we made some different sides that were also AIP approved. So that was really cool. And just shows you that you really can get through this even in the holidays, even though I didn't successfully do it this year. So I know some people's conditions are a little bit worse and you don't get the opportunity to slack off and you have to stay on it 100%. So. You know, I was thankful that I could kind of indulge during the holidays, but I definitely have to get back on track to maintain my eye health. So I'm going to enjoy this and I will put in that footage from the week before Thanksgiving now. So here I am just making some sweet potato avocado toast. And I just thinly slice the sweet potato and I put it in the toaster and this is how it comes out. I then just add some avocado and I mash it up on there. And then I add some pink Himalayan salt and this is a good substitute for avocado toast. In this next clip, I am making my favorite cheeseburger soup, which I got the recipe from Unbound Wellness. I'll make sure to put her link to her blog below. Um, but here I'm just chopping up some celery and then I chop up some onion as well. Thank you. 
Then you'll want to mince three cloves of garlic. I think the recipe calls for two cloves, but I really like garlic, so I do three. So now we're just going to add everything into the pan. I will first add in some avocado oil and then we will add in the onion and the garlic. And you just wanna cook that until it's fragrant. Like I said, I will link the full recipe below so that you guys can follow the instructions step by step. Um, and I'll just give this a little bit of a stir and then cook until fragrant. And then I will go back to cutting up the sweet potatoes. You'll just do them into cube sizes, however big you would like them. And then we will measure out one cup of shredded carrots, and then we will add in the sweet potatoes, the carrots, the celery, and the parsley to the pan. I just used dry parsley in this recipe. However, if I had fresh parsley, I would recommend using that instead. So now that everything is in the pan, I'll just give this a good stir, and then I will cook this until everything has softened up. So now we're just going to measure out the amount of bone broth that we will be using. As you guys can see in this video, I have like three half empty boxes of bone broth in my fridge. So I'm just finishing all of those out. And I think that we need five cups of bone broth and then one cup of coconut milk. So you'll see me measuring that out here. I also added some coconut cream just to make it a little more creamy. However, it is not required that you use coconut cream in the recipe, it's just an option. So after the vegetables are cooked and they're tender, we'll wanna go ahead and add in all of our liquid. So we add in that bone broth, the coconut cream and coconut milk, and then I will add in two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and add the meat back in, and then we will bring that back up to a boil and then it will be completed. So yeah, this is how I make my cheeseburger soup. Um, I really, really like this recipe. It makes a lot at one time and it keeps really well in the fridge so I can eat it for dinner and heat it back up for lunches. It's also really good when you top it with some bacon. So if you have some on hand, I would recommend that. So believe it or not, I enjoyed a full AIP Thanksgiving meal. So it was so delicious. My aunt was so kind and baked a AIP approved turkey. I also made some butternut squash stuffing with some tiger nut flour. It was so, so good. I made a sweet potato casserole with some homemade marshmallows on top that were also AIP approved. And then the dessert, it was so yummy. I made some pumpkin bars, and then my mom made a banana coconut cream pie, which was delicious. And she also made some AIP approved apple crisp. So it was really nice that I still got to indulge in some sweets on Thanksgiving. And then in the middle there, you'll see some homemade coconut cream. And then my sisters here are indulging in the real stuff. So enjoy that clip of them. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I know that was some old footage mixed with new footage, but I really do plan to show you guys more this time around just because I feel more equipped uh, and ready to share my tips and tricks. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact me or DM me. I love DMing. We can get to chat a little bit more about our disease and what we go through. So please feel free to ask any questions if you have them and happy new year.